spots. I have a few references. Excuse me. Have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh. Well, yes, but isn't that pretty normal? The Academia consumes so many resources each day. Everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else? Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. There's a Kashar Rar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. Dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. And when I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn-out machines. The Kashar Rawar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a matra seal. Why should I bother? Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once, thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? A man named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Possible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. Wait, I know another Matra who works with Taj. I can ask him to let us speak with Taj. <sighs> As I've already told you, I don't have any way to contact Taj. A few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru City. A group of Aramites? Could Taj really be the one? N no way. Taj is just like Sino. They're considered heroes among the Matra. There is no way that he would... Fine. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for... So, this is Taj's place. Well, what should we do then? Do no, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. It well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. <sighs> Here. What's this? It's 
a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map. Uh, Nabil. Uh, yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people, including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, mercenaries. I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. You're right, that's just who he is. As for the map, it appears to indicate the location of the Court of Desolation. Let's take it to Sino and let him decide how to proceed. If Taj really has turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts, then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Des- I don't want to suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. All right, we'll give these to Sino and see. What It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. So do you think he's the one behind all this? I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons, we have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. That's right. It's clear that he had a hand in this case, yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's also why I need to see him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go. In the name of the princess in. Are you going to hold a festival?
May knowledge guide you. Wish me luck. <laughs> 